Karibu mtazamaji wa Chief TV katika makala ya kambi ya afya ya masikio na usikivu iliyofanyika katika kituo cha Zoop Academy. Mimi ni mtoshaji wako Abdalla Musa nikishirikiana na mizango Hilal Kasim. Kambi hii imefanyika katika kituo cha Zoop Academy Mombasa. Wananchi na wazee wa watoto waliopata mafanikio ya afya ya usikivu na kuweza pia kupatiwa hearing aids. Biskina Muhammad Abbas na bibi wa Radhia wanaelezea usumbufu waliokuwa wakiupata kabla ya kupatiwa hearing aids. Mimi naitwa kwa jina Skina Muhammad Abbas. Na niko hapa nazungumzia masala ya utumiaji wa earring za masikio kwa ajili mtu ambaye hawezi kusikia. Na mimi ni mmoja wapo katika mtu anayetumia hivi vitu hivi. Na mpaka sasa hivi tangu nimeanza kutumia naona ninapata mafanikio makubwa sana. Na tangu hapo nilipoanza tatizo hili kwa muda ni muda mrefu kwa hakika naweza kuwa kama mitano miaka sita mwanake muda mrefu sana tangu ilikuwa ni kidogo kidogo lakini sasa hivi imekuwa ile standard imekuwa ni kubwa inanisumbua na kuwa sina raha nikitoka pahala kwenye hadharani mwa watu kikusanyika na watu na kunapata tabu sisi ki watu wakizungumza nini naona sasa ile imenifanya dhiki akija mgeni nyumbani ataka kuzungumza naye naona na kuwa mara nyingine si msiki inategemea mara mpaka ile sauti ye apandishe juu ndio mimi naweza kusikia sasa sasa hii inanipa usumbufu sana kwa katika familia na unadhiki nikipata tabu na unatabu hata kwenye mkusanyiko wa watu akija mgeni nyumbani kwangu kuzungumza naye napata tabu ni mkadiwe karibu naye niwe mimi manake nakaa na mashikio yangu yako karibu naye yeye ili nisimisi na kila wakati eh eh ya kusikia eh sema tena naona sasa hili ni tatizo kubwa sana leo kwa kwangu lakini baada ya kusikia kuna hospitali clinic ya Dr. Nofel unaona nikafahamishwa nikenda nilipokwenda nilipomona daktari akanicheki akaniambia kweli mama masiku yako na tatizo lolote isipokuwa kweli hayasikii haya sasa tukucheki nikachekiwa kwa vipimo vyake vyote na nikaonekana kweli sisikii akajua vile sasa akanipa advice akaniambia kwa sasa hivi hamna dawa mamangu lazima utumie hivi hizi mashini za kwenye mashikio za kuweza kukusaidia wewe kusikia tukakubaliana naona nikafanyiwa nikatengezewa nikaanza kupewa kutumia na tangu hapo nilipoanza kutumia mpaka wakati huu nimefarajika sana najisikia raha naona Nipo kwenda hadharani kwa watu sipate usumbufu. Naona? Nikizungumza na watu tunafahamiana, namsikia kila anonambia, wakija nyumbani watu nikiva nasikia kila kitu, wala wetu, mtu hawezi akakufahamu kama wewe usikii kwa, kwa mujibu wa faida za hizi mashini nilizozipata tangu kwanza kutumia. Nashukuru mpaka sasa hivi naendelea vizuri sana. Kwa Mungu alhamdulillah na dokta tunanamwombea kila laheri Mwenyezi Mungu amzidishi imani azidi kumpa ujuzi azidi kuwa na imani kusaidia watu na yeye Mungu atafungulia kila lenye heri na baraka katika maisha yake eh, tunapata faida sisi na anapata faida yeye upande wake kwa Mwenyezi Mungu wake ni jambo kubwa sana hili kumhudumia mgonjwa mpaka akawa yale maradhi alionayo yakawa yamepona maana ninasema kama nimepona Japonda ninayo lakini nimepona. Sasa unakuja upande wa matumizi. Katika upande wa matumizi haya unapoweza kuyatumia kwa mimi ninavyotumia mimi na naushuru na wenzangu. Unapotumia kwa mimi nikiwa nyumbani kwangu situmii hizi mashini. Na kuwa sizitumii. Kwa sababu mimi mwenyewe wale naoishi nao wananijua na wananifahamu naona matatizo yangu sasa naweza kwenda nao bila tatizo lolote wao wakanifahamu na mimi nikawafahamu 
inakuwa hii mashini mimi naiweka kwa sababu na zile battery pia zile ukizitumia 24 hours zinamalizika haraka na kitu sio cha rahisi ni ghali hususan kama sisi watu wazima tunangoja tugaiwe sasa itakuwa kila siku wewe unaomba kwa watoto unaomba kwa watoto na kwa baadaye na kwa nikero sasa mimi ndio nimeamua nifanye hivyo anapokuja mgeni nyumbani kwangu kaja nataka kuzungumza naye kaja na kwenda anachukua nafaa akiondoka naweka nimechoka na kwenda sehemu yoyote navaa nikirudi nyumbani nazivua na zilifadhi ndio maana zile battery zangu zinadumu kwa muda mrefu kwa sababu ya hiyo matumizi natakiwa tufanye kama hiyo maana kufanya ile uko economic kufanya ile tahfifu ya matumizi yako lakini ukisema unatumia 24 hours wewe labda unapolala tu unavua tabani zitakwisha haraka battery eh basi nakuombeni wenzangu wagonjwa wenzangu waliokuwa wana wasiwasi pia wakuja kutumia mashini hizi na watu wasiwasi mashini hizi hazina tatizo lolote zaidi unajisikia raha nafsi yako unapokaa na wenzako unapokwenda sehemu kinachotendeka kinachosemwa chote unakisikia unajisikia raha kwenye faraja yako ya, ya moyo wako ndani ya moyo unajisikia raha ah, alhamdulillah kumbe mimi hivi niko sasa na hao wenzangu hili tatizo siku sinalo tena basi na kuombeni wagonjwa wenzangu waliokuwa wana wasiwasi au wanaviogopa hivi watoe hofu watoe wasiwasi waje hospitali ya Dr. Nofen waje walete matatizo yao waweze kusaidiwa na wao waweze fajajika kama nilivyofarajika mimi wenzangu wote wagonjwa wote watoto watu wazima maana maradhi hayana mtoto wala hayana mtu mzima mimi haya nimeyapata katika uzee maana mimi sasa hivi si mdogo mi ni, ni mtu mzima naisabika mtu kishangia miaka kwenye sitini basi si mtoto tena sasa mimi matatizo yangu haya nimepata ya uzee na wazee wengi wanakuwa namna hivyo nufu kwa watu wazima kusikia kunapotea tuna mimi mbinafsi wazee wangu watu wazima wa bibi zangu mama zangu walikuwa ndio hivi hivi sasa lazima na sisi tunapata tushakuwa watu wazima waosha kwenda mbele haki sasa zamu yetu sisi Eh, tunabidi tupokee lakini nimefarajika sana na kuhamasisheni wa, wenzangu watoto wakubwa vijana wenye matatizo kama haya waje zao hospitali clinic ya Dr. Nofel iko hapo vikokotoni au huku sehemu ya kama unakwenda fumba ana hospitali yake na skuli ya watoto wa viziwe hapo kwa hapo Walokuwa karibu mjini watafata karibu. Walokuwa wako mbali ya mji wako sehemu za Kisauni, sijui kwa mchina, sijui wapi wote huku ni karibu kwao. Fumba wote ni huku, njia kwenda ya fumba. Mahishi. Unakuwa ukishamaliza eh ukisha pale hutaki kukitumia unatovua unatia humu na halafu ile mashini pale penye battery unakifungua ile ile battery iwe haifanyi kazi sababu ikiwa umebana vile vile battery inakufa unakuja tamaki wewe unaofaa beti shakufa ndio unakuwa ile matumizi yako yamekuwa yamekuwa mengi zaidi unaona imekwisha haraka unakuwa unakibanua hivi kama vile vile unataka kufungua kutakutia nyingine basi unakifunua kinakuwa loose kidogo ikishaweka unahifadhi siku ya kutaka kuvaa tena unafungua tena unavaa tumefahamiana eh wagonjwa wenzangu asante ni mjuku wangu mjuku e, wangu jina lake radhia suleman abdul wahid Tokea mwanzo yu mtoto alipokuwa mdogo tulikuwa hatujui problem yake lakini tulikuwa tunapata shida la kumpiga tunamuita jeuri hasiki hatai kusikia tunampiga piga sana e, tunamkaribia hayuko happy analia anapiga makelele lakini hatujui what's the reason e, tena kaendelea hivyo hivyo finally tumejua kwamba huyu mtoto hasiki e, kwa hiyo ndio tena tukafanya utaratibu wa kumleta hospitali wakati akiwa na age ya miaka tisa sasa. Eh e, miaka tisa ndio tukajua hasa kwamba huyu hasiki. Eh Na kina alhamdulillah leo yuko happy. Tokea juzi nimempeleka mnazi mmoja amefurahia sana. Eh na anasema nipelekeni hospitali basi na mimi nisikie. Eh alhamdulillah. <laughs> 
na washangu ni kwamba tukipata watoto kama hawa haraka sana tuwakimbilizie huku sehemu za hospitali yani matibabu kwenye clinic kwa madaktari tupate ushauri wao na nasaha zao na tusisite kuambiwa kwamba mtoto anatiwa hearing aids tukakataa tukubali moja kwa moja kwa sababu mtoto tutamsave katika maisha yake ya baadaye inshallah Eh, miaka tisa kwa sababu sasa hivi huyu yuko standard 3. Mm. School ya Laurent International School la, na yuko Mia charming school na kila kitu. Eh. Eh, kama unavyosema unajua bado kwa eh. hii tatizo la usikivu kwetu bado liko nyuma. Eh. Kwa sababu hata kule school ikiwa walimu eh. wakimpokea tu akianza kuona huyu mtoto hapa form eh. yani hapati matokeo mazuri eh. jambo la mwanzo litakiwa waseme huyu mtoto inabidi apelekwe hospitali kwanza akachunguzwe eh. ndio haki toko mpindia haki eh. au sio ndio kwa watoto kwa watoto wao wenzetu hawa ni kwa Denmark na wengine eh. mtoto akifika school kwanza anafanyiwa yani eh. kwa sababu madaktari wako wengi na nini wanafanyiwa sahihi eh. eh. Lakini kwetu sisi walimu ndio inabidi wabebe hii responsibility. Wazee of course namba moja. Eh. Lakini na mwalimu akija aseme tu mtoto hmm. pocho. Eh. Au sio? Sawa sawa. Aseme huyu mtoto mbona performance yake si nzuri? Eh. Au nikimwambia andika A yeye anaandika U. Au sio? Eh. Aseme tu kwa huyu mtoto hafai. Eh. Aangaliwe kwa sababu basi huyu kwanza jamani haiti eh. wazee sisi Dia. sisi mtoto akafanyie cheka. Eh. Kitoka vibaya ndio tunasema kweli. Imetoka yani normal. Ndio. <laughs> lakini sio hivyo tu Ulaya sasa hivi wana kitu wanaita attention deficit. Mm. Wako watoto yani anasikia kila kitu. Lakini concentration hani. Ha, ha, ha. Kwa hiyo ndio maana nafeli. Na wale pia sasa hivi wanapelekwa kwanza hospitali. Eh. Ili wale madaktari wanambadilisha yule mtoto eh. kwa ana concentration mm. anaanza kwa. Sisi hapa watoto tulio nao tunajitahidi sana wasiwe eh. watoto watundu. Eh. Na kwa sababu gani mtoto kuzima yeye anaonekana kwa mtundo kwa sababu hapati kuzungumza na watu. Eh. Kwa hivyo anajitengenezea mwenyewe dunia yake. Eh. Kwa hivyo ndio maana inakuwa sasa nini? Na akianza kupigwa aziku wa mtu kwa sababu yeye analize hawa hawajiko Messi. Eh. Mbona ananipiga? Kwa hivyo anaanza kwa anajengeza zaidi dunia yake bali. Eh. Kwa hivyo nakushukuru sana. Eh, na smile nimeipenda hiyo. Na sisi pia tunawashukuru sana kwa msaada wenu na kila kitu. Tuko pamoja kwa Kitakate ile wiki ya mwanzo tu tukaletewa habari na wale wafanyakazi kwamba tumpeleke akachikiwe mashikio yake kwa sababu anachoambiwa hataki kufata yani hasikilizi. Hapo hapo akapelekwa kwa daktari wiki ya kwanza. Akachekiwa yuko normal kabisa lakini daktari anasema anasikia kila anachokitaka ye mwenyewe. Jaribu kumwambia kitu ambacho labda anapenda tukawafahamisha wale wafanyakazi kule labda wafanye hivyo wakawa wanamuita kile kitu anachokipenda na kuja hapo hapo na ni mpaka leo atakudharau tu kama hataki kukusikiliza ila ukimwambia nchochukua ice cream huku hapo hapo anaruka na kuja kuchukua sasa e, ni tabia yake mwenyewe anasikiliza kila anachokitaka asichokitaka anakuachia asikilize kitu lakini ni wiki ya mwanzo yuko kindergarten nimebidi tumchekishe mm. mm. eh wame mm. kwa wewe mtoto ukimuona mama na Yaani huyo mtoto ndio pekee anakuja clinic na baba yake. Maana yule baba yake akasema inawezekana ndio anakuwa jioni. Mama na charaza tu. Na alikuja amejaa mtatusikia. Tulivozitoa wale wao wazima alhamdulillah maana yake sasa anaenda kumuonyesha mke wangu kwa huyu si jeu. Huyu ni tatizo la usikivu. Kwa hivyo nitokezea tena nikifanya tena tumpeleke tu. Kwa hivyo nakushukuru sana. Hizi video zetu tutazitumia tumia nyuma ni mtoto ni watu wazione yeye kidogo watu wa wanajua. Na hapo of course ndio nyumbani. Umeleta shida hii nyingine. Ukitulia hapo. Inshallah. Kama yuko hapo yuko mwanjamu ndio mchaji wa hapo yuko mazungumzo nyingine kosi. 
ili rahisi kwa sababu vitu vyetu vimevileta hapa ili iwe rahisi mtu aje hapa kile kitu tunapata hapa inshallah asante sana asante sana kwa pamoja unaweza akishezo wewe kwa msikiliza sauti ya msikilizaji hizi tuweze tukazipandisha kwa mfano anaweza akakaa pale anasema labda nyinyi nakusikia lakini tv mkitupeka program sisi kwa hiyo ina maana watu kuja kuja hapa grade kidogo ile tunambia tv sauti ya tv ni nzuri sana yani ni kama mtu wa kawaida hivi ndio inshallah karibu sana asashukuru sana asante chefu katika kambi hiyo jumla ya wagonjwa 14 walipatiwa herring aids ambapo miongoni mwa waliopatiwa herring aids hizo wamesema kwamba mafanikio waliyopata na huduma bora kutoka kwa madaktari wa Zanzibar Outreach Program zote zilikuwa nzuri na ni bora na wa fadhili wa Zanzibar Outreach Program Zop East Africa AIDS kutoka nchini Denmark wafadhili hao wa East Africa AIDS kutoka nchini Denmark walikuwa katika zoezi la uzinduzi wa vifaa hivyo vya usikivu vya herring AIDS My name is Adam Ali. I come from Denmark. I have a degree in social work and economy. And uh, my wife Umi Mukuthum Hamia is uh, based in uh, Zanzibar, originally from Zanzibar. We're living in Denmark. I have been working in the hospital for many years and uh, I had always had some contact with Zanzibar and uh, a good friend of mine, old Zanzibari, he told me about uh, what kind of aid would be needed in Zanzibar and he talked about uh, hearing aid could be a possibility. I didn't know much about uh, hearing aids but uh, as I find out as, uh, as the time went by I, I find out more and more how advanced the uh, system it is. So we were looking for some kind of uh, project here who could manage those things and we were very happy to get in contact with my sister-in-law uh, Haida and uh, she made the connection with Dr. Naufel here in Zop Zanzibar. <coughs> and that way we started our project it and started our connection with the hospital and the officials in the, in the hospital in Denmark the hearing aid department um basically hearing aid is a problem in Denmark as well as it is here we are talking about in in my country it's 5% of the population so you can see it's a lot of people 1 million meters is up to 50000 times that 6 in in Denmark so we are talking about 300,000 people with hearing aid problem in Denmark who who get that um <clears throat> my first meeting with the hospital in Denmark i have to be honest they were very skeptical because they didn't know uh, what kind of um, technical uh, equipment you have and uh, your qualifications here in Zanzibar so it was very important to get uh, in contact with you Uh, uh, and also get some pictures to show them on a briefing there and uh, they saw the equipment and they were convinced like uh, this is a group this is an organization who can manage these hearing aids and we want to give it a try mm-hmm. so uh, it was a beginning to uh, we sent two times uh, hearing aids here and uh, we are very happy and very proud to see the result Uh, you made with this uh, hearing aids and we look forward to coming back and to show them the pictures and 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 give them a, a speech about what we've done here and what happened to the hearing aids because they they want to give but they 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 they, uh, they, they really are very firm about uh, transparency and Denmark is a country which has given aid to all over Tanzania for many years Danida you know and Sweden mm-hmm. yeah so they are uh, they really they know the cult- they know the culture they know the c- country and they want transparency in, from A to Z so that's what uh, we are hoping to uh, we are giving now and we hope to work with that in the future and even to get more hearing aids but it will be a long process but we will work hard for it and uh, I think I'm in contact with the right people and I'm in the contact with the right people here and the right people in Denmark and that way we um, we hope to to 
move this further because we need a lot of hearing aids now. And but we are still very proud of what we have seen, and we we have a message, not a, and a message for the people in Denmark, also for the for the young people here in Zanzibar, that now we there is technical support for you here, and we will show the people in Denmark also that we can manage this. We can manage to send them to here and, and give it to the people. It's not about who you are and what you have of money. This is about your disability and how it works. So we are very happy and very proud. Kulthum na mimi mzaliwa wa Zanzibar, mume wangu Adam, uh, tunaishi Denmark. Uh, leo tumekuja kuzindua uh, ukabidhishaji wa hearing aid, aid kwa wale wanohitaji. Wano Tumekutana na mtoto wa miaka tisa, tunafuraha sana kwamba na yeye itaweza kumsaidia, kumsaidia katika masomo yake na vile vile michezo na wenziwe. Um, organization yetu Aid to East Africa tuna base sana kwa watoto waweze kusaidia lakini vile vile na wafanyakazi ambao walipoteza masikivu yao ila wanaupungufu wa kusikia na leo vile vile tumebahatika kukutana na mmoja ambaye alipoteza wakati ni mwalimu wa skuli ambaye alipoteza usikivu na yeye amepata pia vile vile na vile vile tumekutana na mwanafunzi mwingine ambaye yuko form 4 ni vizuri vile vile kwa sababu wao watoto wanafunzi na walimu ni katika society yetu ni, we, ni watu ambao wanaendeleza maendeleo ya nchi tumefurahi sana na asante sana kwa mashirikiano yako sisi sisi sio wa nini wa, hatuna vipaji hivyo ila dr naupal mwenyewe ndo mwenye vipaji anajua nini kinahitajika na tutajitahidi naye dr naupal kasi alitoa shukran zake kwa wafadhili hao wa East Africa Aids kutoka nchini Denmark kufuatia uzinduzi wa huo wa vifaa hivyo vya Aids Dr. Nofel Kasi alisema kambi hizo zitakuwa ni endelevu kwa kuimarisha afya za wananchi hapa nchini